school head na, governance na siya. At ngayon, uh, ako ay inabutan na ng pandemic, almost inabutan ako ng pandemic. So nasubmit ko lang siya, kasi na-approve siya ng 2019 noong October. Tapos na, na, nagawa na ako ng write-up ngayon ng February. So natapos siya, na-approve talaga siya ngayon ng July. So tinapos ko talaga siya para siya ay magkaroon, parang gumagatis na kung na ako na matapos ko yun in this time na ang panin ay hindi pa. So nahihirapan din ako, marami din, marami din revisions. Ako din ako kasing galing yun kasi ako siguro mga revisions ko siguro mga anin. Yung una ko, siguro mga sampo. Natulog pa ko dun sa ano, sa, nagpatulog pa ako sa teacher ko sa graduate school, yung advisor ko sa thesis. Pero hindi ko talaga siya, hindi talaga ako minto ang hindi siya na-approve. Yung una kong research, Alas hindi yun i-up. Kahit approved na yun, ayaw pang bigyan ng polisyo ng aming ASDS. But then, sabi nila, kawawa naman daw, kung hindi approved, baka daw, tama rin. Pero ako, for sure, hindi ako tatama rin. Kasi di ba kailangan? Kasi school head ako, kailangan kong mag-inspire mag ng aking mga kasama. So, kung ang isang gawain, hindi ko tatapusin, uh, parang it's a no-no for a school head. Kasi paano ko sila i-encourage na magtapos, eh, hindi ko nga ginawa. So, by this pandemic, mayroon na akong balak ulit na ang tawag dyan na research. So, ngayon pandemic, it's all about uh, online recognition. So, tayo ay na papayong dahil yun sa ating research. So, yun ang aking uh, ginagawa ngayong research. Kaya ako ay parang naka, palagi ako nasa YouTube kasama ang aking mga co-teachers. Ang gusto ko nga palang magpasalamin sa aking mga co-teachers na kahit sila camera shy ay napilitan sila makisama sa akin. Wala silang magagawa. So thank you so much. I hope to see you in my next video and I hope this video inspire you. Share, like, and comment. At end, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe para sa marami pang information from me, from my co-teachers, and from other school heads. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye! She got me there for me too Good afternoon This is an, a map of United Nations October 2020 So I will give you the history of the United Nations The United Nations is an international organization founded in 1945 after the Second World War by 51 countries, committed to maintaining international peace and security, developing friendly relations among nations, and promoting social progress, better living standards, and human rights. So there are four main purposes of the United Nations. To keep peace throughout the world, to develop friendly relations among nations and to help nations work together to improve the lives of poor people, to conquer hunger, disease, and illiteracy, and to encourage respect for each other's rights and freedoms. And the last one is to be a center for harmonizing the actions of nations to achieve these goals. So even though we have pandemic, we hope to celebrate United Nations in our home study corner. Thank you so much. See you in our next video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. Scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrinking skull will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight.
So tonight, we'll talk about, you know, appreciation of food. Yung mga nandito, mga gulay gulay. So, nung bata pa ako, I woke up one day. Tapos yung panira, yung pagkain namin, yung galiya, yung ano bang tawag doon yung gritin ko lego, yung I forgot. Yung usong-usong ngayon na ano, galiya. Yung usong gabi, nasa family ng gabi. Yung laman nun, yun ang, kina, yun ang for breakfast namin kasi nasa barrio pagka weekends, hindi naman papasok yun ang linuluto ng father ko o ng mother ko. So, after kaming magwalis, after namin kumain ng, ay after namin magtrabaho, kasi yun ang breakfast namin. Uh, mga, siguro mga 10 years old or 8 years old or 9, I forgot. Basta, umiyag na payat kasi ako, ang gutong-gutong, ang gutong-gutong girls, parang hindi ako mabubusong noon. Pero ngayon, ano ba yung kunti lang na pagkain nung nandun sa ano sa table, nandito sa table namin. Sobrang thankful na ako nun kasi ang hirap magtrabaho, oh my god. Ang hirap magtipid, ang hirap mag inong you know, mag-budget. Yung kung paano mo kagastusin, pagkasyahin, yung pera simula nung kumuha ka sa ATM hanggang sa sunod naman na pagkuha sa ATM. So, ano-ano bang mga racket, ano, para magkaroon ka ng pagkain in your table. Ano ba yun? Your, of course, you have your salary from your job. Pero, sa dami ng gastusin, ano, lalo na ngayon may internet, may cable, ano, very important yung online, ano, sa ngayong pandemic, napakahirap. Tapos, kunti lang yung racket kasi nga, kulang yung ma-reach out mong tao to online din. Tapos, of course, online, may sarili silang distorte kung kailan sila magbabayad kung may utang sila sa inyo. So, thankful tayo sa mga nagbabayad ng mga utang. So, shout out dun sa mga nagbabayad ng utang. At then, ngayon, sobrang hirap talaga. Sobrang hirap talaga ngayon mag, parang mag so, Alam ba yung kung silang yung pagkain nyo, kung ano man yung pagkain natin sa table. Very thankful na ako ngayon, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Ano, parang sobrang blessing na. Ano, yung hindi ka lang magkasakit, may pagkain ka nyo table, kahit ano yun, kahit gula yun, kahit fruits lang yun. Kunti. Ay, um, na parang nag-iisip ako kung bakit yung yung hindi mo ubusin yung pagkain dahil ayaw mo. For the mere fact na ayaw mo, hindi mo gusto yung lasa. Pero kung ikaw ang magtatrabaho, napakahirap ano, to provide the needs of the family. Sobrang hirap. Ano po? Yun lang na pamasahe ngayon ang mahal-mahal. Sobrang mahal ng pamasahe. Ah, kunting, ah, kunting distance lang kasi hindi mo malakad kasi marami kang dala. Alam mo ba yun? So, kunting distance lang talagang magbabayad ka ng 20 pesos. Tapos, another na naman ang sakay kung mababa ka naman na wala nang walang diretso papunta din sa bahay mo. Imagine, ano, imagine everyday kang magtatrabaho, everyday kang lalabas. So, mabuti na lang may mga webinars at may work from home kasi kung may mga problems dun sa school. So, it's very important na magpasalamat, ano, very maging thankful talaga. So, by this time, oh, root crops man yun, fruits or vegetables man yun, very thankful na ako dun. So, of course, I appreciate my garden. Lalo, lalo na kung nagbubunga yung mga pananaman. Blessings talaga, no? Yung malakas ka lang, may pagkain ka lang, kahit damdam mo yun, na kinukuha mo lang dun sa garden. Very important, ano po. So, lalo na sa panahon na yun. So, I am very thankful sa father ko in memory of my father na talagang pinasanay, sinanay talaga kami kumain ng mga gulay. Ano. Uh, Doon sa pandanan, duman dun ako lumaki. Uh, yun lang, hindi ako, personally, hindi ako bumibili ng mga desanayin or karne na yan without my, wala naman sa plano, wala sa budget. Nakakain na ako pag exasbad ko na bumibili talaga siya ng pagkain ako kasi okay lang akong kumain kung ano na dun sa aming bahay ano, my garden, pinoprovide niya talagang pagkain ko, bumibili lang kami talaga ng bigas hmm. sorry from that siguro bumibili lang kami ng sibuyas at bawang 
Kung walang pang sahog, okay lang. Sanay ako na kumain ng mga nilaga lang. Na father ko, bisaya kasi yun. So, yun nga. Kumakain lang ng... Linalagyan lang ng asin bichin. Ay, no na, walang bichin. Inaasin, linalagyan ng sibuyas at bawang yun. Ha? So, I'm very thankful na father, kung nasaan ka man ngayon, ay nasa mabuti ka ng kalagayan ngayon, father. So, thank you so much sa pag-salay sa akin na kumain ng kung ano lang. Mm -mm. Kasi pag ng father ko, um, ito lang yung gagawa ko ng video para sa kanya. Thank you so much, father and ko. Of course, na may mother na. Yun din. Actually, yung, father, yung mother ko talaga yung nag, nagtatanong talaga sila. Malawak ang kanyang pananin. Maraming binabayan. So, sila talaga yung grandfather ko and grandmother ko. Mm, thank you so much po sa... Parang pagsanay sa amin na kumain. Simple lang. Wala naman kasing choice doon. Wala kami bilihan. Unless, may sarili kang... Baboy! Nakakakaya. So, yun. Kumakain na ako ng isang pagtaba. I'm sorry. Just to show my appetite. Thank you so much. I hope, malaysan kayo, lalo na yung mga kumakala mo. So, very thankful. So, at kahit na tayo din ng mga adults, ano, hindi tayo nag-prepare ng food. Mahirap mag-prepare ng food. So, sana ubusin natin yung mga pagkain. Tayo yung tira, tira, tira. Yung mas tayo na lalagyan na naibis yung mga rats at ang mga mga pa-purchase sa bahay. So, ubusin natin yung pagkain. Magpasalamat tayo sa mas na mayroon tayong kinakain. everybody, especially to our single parents out there. This is Wendy Majuisi Flores of Sampaloc Elementary School and yesterday, we started the Project Aspire. We launched the Project Aspire together with all the single parents who attended the Project Aspire orientation yesterday in Sampaloc Elementary School. Uh, shout out to Mom Arlene who donated cakes for them and to my sister who donated the Nisquik for the snacks. Uh, thank you so much also to Miss Wendelin Idria, my sister, for giving us the uh, clothing for them. And for my mother who donated the snacks and uh, the giveaway, a little bit of giveaway yesterday. So yesterday, we elected officers and I am very happy. Shout out to the president, Miss DB, for creating the group chats for single parents.
So we elected uh, officers that will be the in charge for our um, project Aspire and for the activities that go with it. So there, these are the activities that go with the project Aspire. First, they are going to have um, they are going to have register they are going to register in Boy Scout and Girl Scout. The parents, both the parents and the child. Okay, and also they are going to have garden in the school. So I give them the. I give them the seedlings, I give them the seeds, so they are going to grow um, vegetables in their yards. And also, we are going to have um, livelihood projects, and I asked some single parents what skills they have. And one uh, said that they have, um, they are making rugs, so there is a... Uh, make rug making every Wednesday and every day we're going to conduct computer uh, literacy so they are going to study with me the computer and with mom Jane so mom Jane a uh, shout out to mom Jane and Shaila and also to mom Tin for being there yesterday so thank you so much um, my co-workers for assisting us yesterday so um, Project Aspire is now on. I am very glad that we come up with a fundraising activity. Aspire Search for Single Parents. For most outstanding single parents, it's a fundraising activity. We are going to distribute tickets for 10 pesos and we, uh, 100 for a one stop with 12 tickets. And we're going to sell it and we're going to have a raffle. So all those included in the list will be uh, will be included in the raffle every month. So all the list of the single parents will be put here in a jar, for example. And we are going to have a um, uh, raffle every month, and we are going to distribute some assistance to them. And for those who are being called already, we are going to put it in another jar. And um, so all the months that they are going, the, their name will be called. So we are going to put it here. And if we already called all the names in the first jar, so this will be another raffle again. So it will be a cycle. So this is a part of Project um, Aspire. So to all those um, interested to assist all the single parents, you can contact me and help me also to provide their needs. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for watching our video and for subscribing to our channel. Please um, subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. So you can watch our journey with single parents, especially in Sampaloc Elementary School. To all single parents out there, just comment or send me a message in my messenger so that you will be included in this particular um, project. So... Oh